What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is all about the Zygerian homeworld, Zygeria. If we take a look at the galaxy, we can find Zygeria at coordinates S4. Contained within the Outer Rim, this area of the galaxy was also considered wild space throughout the Old Republic era. The Zygerian system was within the Chorlian sector, which contained a total of 11 separate solar systems. Together, the Malachor, Nathema, and Zygeria systems contained some of the most important worlds of the ancient Sith Empire. Malachor V contained the renowned Treus Academy, one of the most important dark side locations in the entire galaxy, and which would serve as the Sith Triumvirate's headquarters even after the Academy was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. This world provided the Sith Empire with a level of dark side expertise that is perhaps only topped by Korriban itself. Nathema, originally named Midrias, was the Sith Empire's most vibrant agri-world, providing an incredible amount and variety of food and drink. That was of course until Lord Vitiate drew the life force out of the entire planet via a dark side ritual, which left it barren and lifeless indefinitely. But Zygeria would provide the Empire with one of the largest slave trades and pool of slave labor. To understand why three important worlds all come from this one small sector of space, we need only to go back to that galaxy map. Remember, systems are built or destroyed by the traffic of hyperspace routes. The Hydean Way and the Perlimian trade route were two of the longest and secured trade routes. The Perlimian took you right into the core, and the Hydean was the only hyper route that completely crossed the galaxy. But even better was that the Chorlian sector was off the main road, but still near enough to the Listahal Run and Shelton Tunnels to easily connect. It's like having a neighborhood connected to a major street that then connects to a major highway. It would be quick and easy for you to find your way to New York City, but it won't be as easy for the authorities to track you. So with this geographical advantage, the Sith Empire was able to enjoy the resources provided by this world without the rest of the galaxy being able to easily get to them. Also, by setting up defenses along these connecting routes, you can prevent them from getting deep into the Chorlian sector. From this world, the Zygerians were able to launch raids to capture popular slave species like the Wookiees of Kashyyyk, the Twi'leks of Ryloth, and the Tegrudas of Shili. The planet of Zygeria contained a single moon, and was in a system that contained a single sun. The terrain was mostly plains and grassy highlands, with some tall mesas that would often act as roosts for the Brizak. This dragon-like species is native to Zygeria, and was one of the main means of transportation. This planet had a population that ranged from 100 million to 500 million, but this doesn't account for the number of slaves that would have greatly outnumbered the natives. The city architecture would differ a bit from city to city, but were all comprised of palaces built atop slave worker complexes. These cities would also contain slave gladiator rings. And in addition to selling slaves, their economic strength was also based on their ability to produce a wide range of products using their slave labor. This made Zygeria one of the wealthiest planets in the Sith Empire, but when the Sith were defeated by the Jedi and Republic, Zygeria failed to hold on to its power. Now its location was discovered, and constantly monitored by anti-slavery organizations. By the time of the Clone Wars, many had never even heard of the obscure world Zygeria, but its royalty held out hope that it could return as a galactic power with the aid of Count Dooku in the CIS. Following the Clone Wars and into the Imperial Era, Zygeria started to attract a great number of tourists, who flocked to the unique and ancient structures that stood just as they had thousands of years ago. How this planet fared during the New Republic Era, and if the First Order got involved with it, is still unknown. So that's it for its history, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind the scenes stuff. Zygeria first appeared in the comic Clone Wars 3, and then in the Clone Wars TV show. Additional information comes from the Essential Atlas and complete Star Wars Encyclopedia. And stuff referencing Zygerian slavers goes back as far as the Star Wars source book in 1987. But that's it for the planet Zygeria. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of the reference material used to make this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, beware the worlds off the main path, and the Force will be with you, always.